because I'm adding 16 red sources. And I do have seven double colored two drops, but the three prospectors do help with that quite a lot. Uh, a couple of things I'm really not like is not having these cards main deck, but mostly doing that to test how powerful these four cards are and those two cards as well. Though the obvious cuts for Muxes are the ringleaders. Uh, no, uh, the list before was in uh, three ports. So I'm still in the same amount of red mana it was before. Right? Yeah. Oh, I cut... Uh, I did cut a land overall. I'm going to keep this. But the last land, like the list had four ways, three ports, and a Caracas. So I did not cut a red at all. Or a black, if that matters. Okay. I feel like I go basic into vile. Yeah, uh, I do feel like this build, at least mine, uh, his as well, uh, work with 23 lens. Uh, some more testing needs to be done. But even though we rather two six drops, the cuts were mainly made here. Oh, shoot. Okay. So this is lens. Okay, this is going to be interesting, though. Unless they kill me this turn. Then there's nothing. Oh, right. I'm just going to play some random decks. Okay. Um, because two ringleaders, a sling gang lieutenant, and a goblin trash master were cut from the main board. So that's four four drops that were cut in favor of uh, two muxus. That is a six drop. They get Misty and Taiga. All right. Doesn't really matter, does it? Yep. So now the game is what's the two drop to play? If I drop power driver, that makes it even harder. Okay. I'm happy with this. I think I'll just more war marshal because I have no idea what's going on. It's the safest play. Yeah, I'm not the greatest fan of cutting both Chain Wheeler and Trash Master, but it's just for testing purposes. Like maybe maybe I'll go down as noob and go back with one of them. Maybe maybe I don't know, something else happens. Um but yeah, seems like uh there is the the reduction in mana cost overall. And also I'm playing two extra prospectors in this list. So uh just the Caracas this time. Put a punishing fire in there. Okay. Okay, this is fine. I just pay for Lackey. A couple of creatures die. I can get this. Ah, oh, they got a Caracas. That kind of sucks. Because they can keep on bouncing my Pashlik Mon. Trigger time! Oh, I just hate that card. So I just pay for lucky and don't pay for anything else. Could have paid for the token. I guess.
do think I still drop Pashalikmon because it hinders their mana a little bit. Uh, it's something I can keep redeploying, and I really can't overextend. So I feel like I'm going to violin Snoop. I feel like I do it now. Hey, Callum. Callum, Callum. If you see where you're trying to jump, we're probably going to Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely, like, had to cut cards for these cards. But I don't think there's much you can do about that. We need to test. So I want a port. Probably. Maybe I just drop Crater Maker and I violent Pashalik Mons. That means I have two mana open, so it's ah, I, so I should have cracked the fetch before. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, this is going to attack. I'm actually going to see what's on top over here again. Uh, I should have done that in my main phase, but it's fine. Get another basic. Okay, I have another land. So yeah, I kind of, I, I agree. I'm going to draw Pashalik Mons. If they bounce it, I can violate it in again. It's not a problem. And I'll cast Prosper. Will I cast anything? Because I'm going to pay for free goblins and I want Pashalik Mons, Snoop, and Lucky. Oh, yeah, Double Dash was sweet. Uh, I barely played in Magic, but, oh, thank you for the follow, Brainstorm 9. I barely played in Magic because my, my top decks were just terrible. I guess I do play this. Mostly because if they don't bounce Pashalikmons, I'm okay with a couple of creatures dying and pinging them. Since I'm going to be using all my mana, either way. Um, I haven't seen the replays from Double Dash yet, but Eli has, and he said, like, oh man, the, the Grixis Delver draws were just really good. Like in my game too, when I started with Lecky, they top decked the boat for it, and I was like, oh man, that was so game winning. Um, in his game three, in match three, that brainstorm that they cast apparently was absurd and got them everything. Oh, they didn't even cast uh, Caracas. Okay. Uh, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So this dies. I thought they were going to play differently. Oh, they have Punishing Fire. Oh, that kind of sucks. Uh, still, I feel like I play this. Pay for this. This dies. That probably goes to three. Does it? No, I actually rather have the 
violin expert play. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna pretend I'm gonna play optimally. Like I, I need to check how I can see the text properly, and I don't know. Change a few things in the settings over here. Okay. So Viowa two was correct. Well done, Marcelo. Well done. Rewarded. And attack. Don't think I win this anymore, though. I do need, like, to keep on shot decking really well, or get a wasteland at least. Because they do tie up their whole mana just to kill one creature every turn. If I can deploy one creature every turn, they're still taking damage. If I draw Tabernacle, I don't know. If I draw a waste, I don't know. Uh, if if I got a chance to to kill them, I don't know. <laughs> Hi Eli, how's it going? Now, now I think I lose. <laughs> Do I even vial this in? I feel like I want, because this is only going to do one damage this turn. I feel like I want two mana open for in case I draw another two drop. And I, I'll be able to pay for that either way. Maybe that was one damage was very good. Yeah. Oh well. Do the maze of if check. Yep. Uh, now I think that I'm going to start taking this vial up to six, and that's going to be my gameplay. Just find a matron or a muxus and vial it in. If they don't kill me fast enough, I feel like that's in a decent strategy. Yeah, I gotta make them the new stuff. Hmm. I don't think this game is very salvageable. Trigger time. Hmm. 
Gargon, thank you for your goblin content coming back finally. Such a long break, but the new card actually got me excited. I have a sweet modern list as well that I. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you here, my friend. Um, do you have a sweet modern deck that I want to try? So that's going to be happening soon ish. I have no idea when. So not playing the expert turn before actually cost me two damage so far. Probably just two damage overall. Uh, yeah, this is game one. We were on the draw. Had a decent hand, but they had a natural tabernacle turn three. Are we getting this vial to six? We are, right? We have to. <laughs> I feel like if there's one thing that I need to do is that. I can even cast my free drops, so yeah, or. I mean, it's a reasonable game plan. I don't see any other way we're actually winning this. Maybe with a good ringleader. So there there could be a, an argument for Violet 4, but... But Muxus is so much cooler. I know Lucky dies. And there's some value of holding it, but if they're using their mana to kill my things, they're not loaming loaming that actively. That's pretty much what I want. So it takes them a while longer to find dark depths. I can't just leave Vi with four. But I can, no, I cannot cast my four drops in case I draw one, because I, I'm going to pay for this. Yeah, I'm not going to draw a four drop, am I? Nah. Just get them scared. Ringleader incoming, look at this. There we go. <laughs> Genius! Oh, it's gonna be cost next turn, so it's fine. So next turn, cast Ringleader and Violin Muxus. So that's even better. <laughs> I I just want to play with Muxus. I don't really mind. Not doing the. It's definitely not the the most. EV play. Okay, so they're gonna start drawing a whole bunch of cards. So if I did not take Viol up and Mux's one was one of the top five cards, I would probably not be able to play it. 
through that port. There is that. Sure. One time. <laughs> Second ring leader. Okay. But if I'm matron, I can violet in next turn. There you go, okay. So they need two more mana denial or how is it called? A blast zone. Yeah, there are quite a good few flips. Oh no! Now he can bounce my... Oh, he had that since, like, turn one. Two, or whatever. Um, he can bounce Muxus. <laughs> no mana denials. You're right. Yeah, I think six is all right. I'll just natural draw it now. Don't even have to matron. Okay, I got a matron. Uh, yeah. I can do the there end step, so it changes their mana a bit. And they would not have an untapped Caracas. So if I get multiples war chiefs, I can attack more properly, and I don't think they're doing anything, unless... Um... Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna do that there. Their end step. I get punished by not many things. Maybe they can destroy Vile their turn. But I don't think that would change much. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. They can stage a maze of if and have more defenses next turn or a part to bring me on mana. I feel like they, they're loaming. Yeah, they still haven't found Dark Depths. Maybe it's wrong. Uh, next turn, I can... Okay. It's just uh, waiting gives me better attacks if I get multiple uh, War Chiefs. Hope that they go for a twenty twenty. And not Blast Zone. Oh, Field of the Dead. Alright, that is sweet. Just want to be able to double mux as a turn. That's that's the upside of waiting. 
probably the only one. Okay, so they can draw more cards and get more tokens. Oh yeah, attacking is pretty much out of the window, unless, you know, multiple war chiefs. I haven't drawn one yet. It happens. All right, are you ready for this? I need some soundtrack for this when this happens. That was very disappointing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Uh, I don't think I pay for any of them, actually. Oh, that was so sad. But my whole turn is going to be free mana, matron, violin, second muxus. So having it in play doesn't really do anything. Um, I'm going to bin it. Okay, I do not want to track this fetch because there are like five <laughs> non goblins in the bottom. Um, may, the odds of ringleader finding Muxus is actually really high as well. Oh, I'm gonna shuffle either way. Uh, but uh, playing this ringleader. Ah, uh, the upsides are right. No. We need to matron. So many good hits. Um, do I do it now this time? Oh, whatever. I got tired of waiting. It's like 15 minutes each and it's still turn game one. <sighs> That's more like it. <laughs> I can even cast this ringleader in my hand, which is pretty awesome. You get punishing fire, sure. Oh, it's pretty awesome that I got all this jazz. Though, hopefully they make a mistake as well. I can recast this Muxus depending on how they play. Oh yeah, I can get Sling. They just used... I don't know, uh, is anyone counting if they have another Punishing Fire in hand? Because I have no idea. Even if they do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not lethal. And they can probably fetch another. Oh, they have two tigers out, so maybe this doesn't fetch. Because they usually don't play Volcanic, this doesn't fetch red.
think I just did. Oh yeah, fetch and kill them as well. So that is very cool. I'm gonna play even around a counter spell because God knows what they're playing with that hall of Heliod over there. Man, winning this game is gonna be so sweet. They can bounce muxes as well. If they... Ah, but then I get the tokens. If that's their only play. Hooray! Oh, the guy, ah, it doesn't really matter, does it? I can combo in response to that. What are they trying to get? It doesn't really matter, does it? I'll just respond to that. Second, Muxus definitely has a place in the list. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, they're not drawing Wasteland. Or Dark Depth as well. It's like turn 11. And they didn't have a Dark Depth. Um, all right, so squads. Uh, some Grave Hade. I got this. Maybe this. And I do like Trash Master, because it helped me survive <clears throat> stuff. I don't know how to side with this deck, though. Um, mainly because it changed so much. I guess I can cut on removal. Like, having these noobs that I still want... Okay, leave one of you... Just in case of a tracker or something. I can take out a crater maker because I have more two drops now as well. I can probably take out the second one too. Yeah, sideboarding got so much harder now. So I would like three more slots. Yeah. I don't mind cutting in this. Do we want all this grave hate? I'm inclined to say yes. Because it's half of their venue of attack. Maybe I could a ringleader as well. So that's this definitely coming in. Maybe I don't want a squad on the draw. Or maybe a squad is better than uh, Fert Muxus. It probably is, right? So I'm just down between these two cards, I think. Of oh, the second uh, Fert Snoop, I mean.
Yeah, I do believe Snoop's probably not greatest in this matchup. Okay, let's try this. Oh man, I'm so happy with the second. Uh, Muxus. They could have ported me as well. So that could have been a thing. All right, chat. Are we banking on this lackey? Because this hand is not great. This hand is really not great. And I feel like they have too many outs on the play against Lucky. Though we do have the Wasteland. I feel like we can... Seriously? You want to keep this? Oh, we got game three, right? <laughs> is that... Is that the... This is not a keep, okay? <laughs> Practice room keep. Yeah, that, that makes sense. This is not a keep. I just, I just want to go out there and say it. Why did they keep a Juke bog against me? Maybe to discard against Mox, to Mox Diamond. It's a reasonable play. Okay, so they're passing with Punishing Fire mana up, right? That is the single only reason to do this. What, crop rotation maybe? Because uh, I'm inclined to waste, but crop rotation screws me so badly. Just jam. Because they don't have an explore, I don't think they would keep this hand without a punishing fire. Because this is a slow depth skill as well. Yeah. Okay. What are they doing? Casting Tracker? Getting Maze of Earth, that would be sweet. <laughs> oh no! Well, we do have the Wasteland for it though. We have a second wasteland for it. I'll just cast it pre-combat in case they have a maze of roof as well, and maybe I want to deal with that more. Uh, maybe casting this pre-combat incentivizes them of actually casting the punishing fire. So maybe this was wrong. Come on, one time. I mean, we got there <laughs> last game, so it's not one time, but... Two mana? With green? Crop rotation? What is happening here? Come on, two times. Yeah. Maze of Earth. Uh, this is a bit annoying. But yeah, they, they gave up a land for this. like an actual mana source. So this is pretty decent. Uh, 
I feel like doing it now, it's better. Yeah. Just because of a second crop rotation, that they don't have mana. So I'll just say waste Tarbernacle now. How do I get punished by? I can just pay for Tabernacle in my time. I'm not going to use this one mana either way. I'm just going to pass. They have three cards left. Whoa, the bone muxes. All right. It's happening. <laughs> Road drums. Woo! <laughs> okay. Five. Oh, I can even destroy the Mox Diamond. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. And ping them for one, because why the fuck not? Amazing. Oh man. All right. Um. <laughs> yeah, you told me to keep. Um. I feel like I'm going to play with this. Seven to six in a league soon enough. Like, it's amazing how the this Jesus just wins. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing with this soon enough. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the Discord when I start the league because this is extremely sweet. But yeah. Thanks for watching and for following and see you again soon for some more Mooks' action, yeah?